Today, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the most powerful video conferencing system in the history of video conferencing systems. This is a Cisco Desk Pro. It's still in the box. I'm gonna take it out of the box, show you what comes with it, how to get it set up, talk a little bit about it. Let's dive in and check it out right now. We have a box of accessories. This is the cables and the pen. I want to point out that you do need to take special note of where the pen is in the packaging. I've had a number of people say they couldn't find it. Uh, anyway, the pen is a lot sleeker than the pen that came with the WebEx board, so kind of nice. Uh, either way, let's look at the cables here. I have a power cable. There is also an HDMI cable and then the um, power brick as well. Now take note that this power brick is a little bit different than the brick for other endpoints. Uh, finally, we have a USB-C cable for connecting to a computer. With all that out of the way, let's put the endpoint together. To get started, lay the unit down. I have it laid down on the table. Make sure the table is flat and that it is clean. And I would put a protective mat or a piece of plastic or foam down to protect the, the display since the display is in contact with the table. From an interface's perspective, we have the power. This is a 20 volt, eight amp uh, connector, so it does draw a good bit of juice. There's a USB-C connector, which uh, sounds pretty simple, but it actually is USB-C display, touch redirect, it will charge your laptop or phone, uh, and a couple other functions as well. There's an HDMI uh, input from a laptop there are two Ethernet ports. Now you need to be careful when you connect this. The first port is for the connection to the network. The second port is the pass through to a laptop or PC that may be sharing that port. There is then also an HDMI port that is an output to a second display. Uh, you know, so if you wanted a content monitor or something like that to go with the Desk Pro, you can use that port. There is a service port, which typically you won't need to use that. And then there are two USB ports on the unit as well. While we're zoomed in here, I want to point out these slots. This is where the stand will mount in. And there's actually two lock buttons here as well. That is how you lock and unlock the stand uh, once it's attached. Let's attach that next. The stand is all one piece. It is actually a cover and a leg. There are metal brackets on the back of the leg. These will snap into the slots that you see here. You should hear them snap in. The cover can move up and down. We'll actually use these slots here and the little rubber retainer to route our cables and get them connected to the endpoint. With cables connected, we can close the cable cover and then gently and carefully pick the unit up and stand it on the desk. With the Desk Pro set up and positioned on your desk how you like it, you can simply reach around the right side and you'll feel the power button. Press that, you'll notice the light starts to flash and the unit will start to power up. You'll see the Cisco splash screen here in just a second. There it is. And uh, the, the unit will boot up from there. I've gone ahead and skipped past the registration and setup process because I already have some other videos on other endpoints that are pretty much identical to what you would do with the Desk Pro. Uh, you can see I have a custom background. I have a couple different functions across the bottom here, some standard, some uh, additional. Uh, it's a little big on the desk, so be sure you have the desktop real estate for it. Um, outside of that, I have nothing but great things to say about it. A couple things to note about this system. It's powered by an, an NVIDIA uh, TX2 chip. The unit has a 27 inch touch enabled 4K display. It works very well. It's very responsive. Uh, and I'll show you briefly some whiteboarding then. The camera is a 71 degree field of view from side to side and a 51 degree uh, field of view up and down. So this allows you to both sit at the unit and then stand uh, or both. 
So if you are standing and you sit down, the camera will actually recrop the image to make sure that you are captured in the shot. Another thing to mention about the camera is that when you connect with USB-C to a laptop or a computer, you can actually use the camera as a web camera in other applications. Now obviously making calls on this video endpoint into meetings is the best experience, but you can also use the built-in camera as a web camera as needed as well. The whiteboard on this endpoint works exceptionally well uh, as well. Very responsive touchscreen. You can whiteboard with both a uh, finger or with the included pen. So if we whiteboard, we can actually pull up existing whiteboards or create a new one. You have the color palette, the sticky notes, uh, all the standard Cisco whiteboarding functions. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Great whiteboarding experience as well. Of course, you can whiteboard between this unit, WebEx boards, uh, the Teams application, and the DX80 uh, as well. Anyhow, I've just scratched the surface of the capabilities of this endpoint. Um, some other things that I'll probably demo later is the ability to do background replacement in the endpoint software uh, itself. So with the camera, with the endpoint software, you can do background blur, background replacement, uh, those type of things. I know they're hot features right now. There's a number of different video layouts that we'll probably talk about. Um, you can actually use it with uh, Samsung DeX if you uh, have a Samsung phone. A uh, ton of cool features. So anyway, hit that subscribe button if you're new here and uh, let me know in the comments section below if there's other features you want me to highlight on this. I'm sure I'm going to have other videos coming. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you back sometime soon.